Hey everybody, it is day 13, Saturday, March 25th of our 25 day scripture challenge. And we are going to be in the book of Exodus. I'll be reading Exodus 26 verses 31 through 33 and also chapter 30 of Exodus verse 10. And I'll be in Hebrews and I'll start out with Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 through 22. And then we'll skip back to Hebrews chapter 8 verses 1 through 2 and then Hebrews chapter 9 verses 11 through 12. And so we'll start with Jason. Let's go. Verse 31 of Exodus 26. You shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. It shall be made with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman. You shall hang it on four pillars of acacia overlaid with gold, their hooks also being of gold on, f on four sockets of silver. You shall hang up the veil under the clasp and shall bring in the ark of the testimony there within the veil. And the veil shall serve for you as a partition between the holy place and the holy of holies. Now flip over to chapter 30, verse 10. Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once a year. He shall make an atonement on it with the blood of the sin offering of atonement once a year throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. Okay, now we'll head on over to Hebrews. In chapter 10, starting in verse 19. Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he inaugurated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. Now the main point in what has been said in this, we have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister in the sanctuary and in the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, not man. Now, chapter 9, verse 11 through 12. But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things to come, he entered through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this creation, and not through the blood of goats and calves, but through his own blood, he entered the holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. So, this morning we see the, uh, in, in Exodus, as we start out, we see the example of the temple and the requirements that were set up uh, and commanded by God for the priests. Uh, for the ritual that they would go through um, as the veil was hung to maintain the separation of the uh, most holiest of places uh, for the priests to enter in once a year. Um, we, we see this and then we see the comparison uh, in, in the scripture that you read in Hebrews. Yeah, where Jesus and his sacrifice, he totally eliminated mm -hmm. the need for that sacrifice and all the rituals. Yeah. And, and most of all, he eliminated the need for that veil, for that veil, that separation at the holy place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he is now our high priest and we have no need for man to have that connection for God. We have no need to go to somebody to have that connection to God. We don't have to go to somebody special to talk to, to tell our sins to, we can go straight to God because of Jesus, because he allowed that veil to be torn in two. We have a direct connection? A direct line. Wow. That alone is, is just amazing to know that you have a direct line, direct connection 
with Jesus. And uh, that, that, that's, that's so comforting. You know, it knowing, is. Knowing that. Knowing that. And uh, uh, it's, so, it's so neat to see. And so we, we are excited to keep, continue on with this, uh, our scripture challenge. And we hope that today we'll see some of the comparison of the Old Testament uh, rituals and what Jesus did for us and how he eliminated that 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 barrier so we can go right in uh, in connection with him personally. So happy to have Jesus as our only priest that we need. Yes, amen. So excited about that. And we hope that you have a blessed day and can't wait to see you tomorrow or actually Monday. 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 For our next day, for our 25-day scripture reading challenge. See you Monday.